This week at work, I've just finished a meeting with a really interesting engineering services business. They've got some super smart people on board and they do very complicated work. Deep analysis, statistical analysis, mathematical analysis around the way a parachute needs to be shaped in order to drop a tank out of an aeroplane, around how digital arrays need to be optimized in order to get uninterrupted telematics communication capabilities underground and above the ground. Complicated stuff, take some time to get your head around it. But once you do, you suddenly realize that this business in its own right was being built through the relationships of the five founders and partners. Each of them brought in their fair share of revenue. Without any one of them there, that portion of revenue would fall away because the trust and confidence it takes to buy these services is based on their deep relationships. We spoke about doing and building the business differently, decoding each and every one of them to bake into processes within the business the opportunity to win clients, sustain clients, and deliver the same quality and outcomes that they and their individual rights deliver. Despite the fact that they've got 53 employees, it still wasn't being done. The lead entrepreneur, the MD, designate, turned around and said to me, well, we can't do it any other way because it's the quality of our reports that set us apart from our competitors. And the way that we provide that quality relies on all of us having a hand in the game. He was immensely proud of it, and so he should be. If he was satisfied with the revenue and satisfied with the profitability that they produce, that wouldn't be a problem. For now, I could see that it gave them great purpose because the quality of those reports is where the pride and the dignity of his work and meaning sat. We then spoke about what happens 5, 10, 15 years from now. Should you choose to exit, and should you choose to exit through a sale in order to monetize the years of investment and risk you put into the business? What it requires is that the quality, the relationships, the manner of engagement that all five of you deliver right now to your clients to win the business that makes up the complete revenue of the business itself has to be decoded into processes and the team. Intent should always be thought of and measured and married at an equivalent scale to purpose and meaning. If your intent is, of a day, to create a business that can be successfully sold, to monetize the history and sacrifice and investment you've made to get to that final moment, you need to build the business differently. It's the difference between a job and an asset. Food for thought for all of us. Let me end off by saying this, 94.6% of businesses started in the US, one of the most vibrant markets in the world, fail to sell. And it's for reasons that what has been built is in fact a job and not an asset. Until next week, have an entrepreneurial day.